Hello, my name is Mutidisi Mohono and I'm a broadcaster at Supersport International. I joined the Varsity Cup uh, production team back in 2013. I finally got the call to say, look, we want you to be part of the team. This was a year and a half after the Lady Braga presenter search. That's where I came third. And I ended up working during the 2011 Rugby World Cup and spent 2012 um, working for Supersport Blitz. So now it was my opportunity to be outside with our crew, our, our OB crew. And I remember my first production, if I remember correctly, was in Bloemfontein. It was a shimless match and shoo, the nerves. I was so so nervous so so nervous um, but I imagine I, I think I contained it pretty well so the turmoil was all happening inside and um, I, I got to have a, a good day at the office look good is not brilliant but it was it was all right <laughs> I don't think anyone that was watching from home could tell that I was really, really nervous. Varsity Cup is such a great platform, you know, because it gives young people a chance to showcase their talent. And it's not just on the field of play, but it's also behind the scenes as well. In the marketing department, in the organizational department, in administration, and in the broadcast space as well. And not just for the presenters or the talent in front of camera, um, it's right from the commentators all the way through to our technical crew in the camera women and women in in audio technicians in um you know uh, vision mixing directing uh, production assistants everybody has that platform that can teach them how to be bigger and better and to gain that experience to move on to bigger tournaments as well so it's such an important part of of, of our growth in rugby, not just for the players, but for everybody that is involved in the product. For me, my favorite moment is probably the 2014 final. We're out of botch with uh, Bicker hosting uh, the UCT Ike Tigers, and you have six minutes on the clock. Bicker leading 33 15. UCT need 19 points just to win by a point. And, and you, according to my notes, Bicker had it in the bag. You know, and and the the you couldn't script what happened in the next uh, seven eight minutes. You just couldn't script it. The IQ just hung in there, hung in there, hung in there. And I remember um, as the hooter went, uh, Bika had just gotten position off of a scrum, and they were tempted to drop goal instead of kicking it out. And it was charged down. UCT had position, and next thing you know, Nathan Nall is under the post. UCT are champions. It was extraordinary. It was an extraordinary night and a fabulous, fabulous advertisement for Varsity Cup and for the growth of rugby at Varsity level. So that I think will be the moment that sticks with me forever. It was also my first Varsity Cup final. So as a broadcaster, it was just extraordinary that we captured those moments so beautifully and encapsulated that moment uh, for future generations to watch as well. So yeah varsity cup long may it continue long may it be the platform that it's always been and, and a, an opportunity for young talent to be showcased not only to south africa but to the world and and for people to gain the experience that they need to move on to the next level i mean i moved from varsity cup to varsity sport to doing curry cup matches semi-final final to doing super rugby to doing test matches all the way to a rugby world cup all the way to the rugby world cup 2019 final that's what it means to have a platform like varsity cup so long may continue continue the great work guys continue unearthing all of this talent and yeah i can't wait to see what the 2021 season will produce